Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to open up the uh, jampacks.net old school jam pack for you guys. Um, this is uh, one of my favorite, one of my favorite, uh, it's not really a subscription box, but they just have these available on the site. And if you get lucky enough to find one, I think this was 60, $62 or $63, something like that. So, got lots and lots of old like, junk wax packs, wax packs, got cellos, rack packs, things like that in here. And they also guarantee you one um, Hall of Fame player rookie card and one Hall of Fame player autograph. Um, the first time I got this was on you know, Christmas time. My girlfriend got this for me last year at Christmas time, and she actually got the add on where they had an add-on where you get like, I think five newer packs added on for an extra amount. And there was a, it was kind of cool because it was the first one I'd ever gotten and it really hooked me, but there was a pack of 2020 Tops Update in there. It was a hobby pack. And as soon as I picked it up, I knew I, I knew I got the hit of the box that was in that pack. So lo and behold, inside, as you can see here, got a Ronald Acuna Jr. out of, numbered out of 25, but also, it's autograph there so an all-star autograph of Ronald Acuna Jr. number 15 out of 25 was in that pack so I was hooked I did not get the add-ons this time I just took the old school packs which that's all I wanted anyway um, it's kind of expensive anyway to get the the new ones added on when they when they do have those but here's the auto Hall of Famer What's really, really nice too about this is you get every month, every time you order, you get a full pack of sleeves and you get a full pack of top loaders also. So that's pretty cool. And on top of that, on top of all the packs, as we'll see here in just a second, you get a team bag with some Hall of Fame players and superstars in it. So they won't all be Hall of Famers, but... We'll go through these first. We got a Diamond Kings of Tom Seaver, and oh, I see one I like there. Look at that. I do have this card, but like I said, I don't care. I don't care how many Donnie baseballs I get. We have a Pinnacle, Don Mattingly. Very nice. 1994. We got an 84 Tops. Keith Moreland, Fergie Jenkins, Cubs Leaders. How about a Crime Dog, Fred McGriff? 90s at 96 Tops, I believe. Yeah, 96 tops, 87 tops, Mike Schmidt, one of my favorite, favorite sets of all time. Mark McGuire, record setter from 1988 Fleer. Got a Don Sutton in action from 82 tops. Got a Frank Thomas Don Russ at 95, maybe? Yeah, 95 Don Russ. Surprised I remember that. There's a nice one. Hal McRae and Dale Murphy. Leader, league leaders. Oh, how about a Craig Biggio? Bowman. What year is that Bowman? It's like a chrome. 96. That's a pretty cool card. No, I don't have that one. Joe Morgan. And we'll end things off with a Cal Ripken Jr. Sport Flick. Very nice. I love Sport Flicks. Pretty cool cards. So, there's our team bag. And... Like I said, we got lots of wax packs. They do give you a pack with like a little cheat sheet on it. Let's see what the, that's what I was hoping for. See, I'm going to 86 Donruss. Don't get to open 86 Donruss very often, but I'm not going to read over this whole thing. I'm just going to get right into the ripping. Going to get right into the ripping. Get an idea. So that's not all. This is like their featured packs, as I, I guess you'll say. But they also have, they throw in lots of other, lots of other uh, goodies, I guess you could say. But let's just get right into it. I'm not going to pull them out and show them. I'm going to just, we got a pack, a super pack of Pinnacle. Got some Team 2000 cards in here. What series is this? Series 1? Yeah, Series 1. Hard to open. 
so I said I'm not going to go through and do like a, a rundown of all the packs. I'm just going to pull them out of the out of the uh, out of the box here one at a time. If I see one I want to save to the end, I'm going to save it. Best card you can get out of 92 Pinnacle is uh, Manny Ramirez rookie card. Always liked Pinnacle. I bought so much of this when I was a kid. So Robin Ventura, current player, and who his idol was, Lou Gehrig. That's a that's a pretty cool card. Tyrone Hill, Dan Pasqua, Tim Nairing, Andy Moda, Lance Dixon, lots of prospects. And here's the Team 2000 cards, young guys who they thought were going to be players of the decades in 2000s. So let's see, Eric Anthony. Well, I would say yes. I would, I would completely agree with that one. So we got a Frank Thomas, Team 2000, Chris Sabo. See if we can get any more. There's Deion Sanders, Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. It's a nice one. Lee Smith, Hall of Famer. So getting some pretty nice cards out here. You're not going to find a ton of value to these. Robin Yount, Von Calderon, so, and John Olerud. So not too bad of a, not too bad of a pack at all. We got the Team 2000 Frank Thomas. I will definitely take that. That is a nice looking card. You can see the back. A young big hurt. All right, so next pack, 90 Bowman. Speaking of Frank Thomas, Frank Thomas has a rookie card in 1990 Bowman, as does Sammy Sosa, as does Larry Walker, as does Bernie Williams. So Mike Greenwell's there. Not a lot of good. A lot of nice players. Kevin Moss, rookie card. Hmm. Thinking about taking over Don Mattingly's job at first base. Knowing not yet that Donnie was not finished yet at this point. Greg Maddox, very nice. Nolan Ryan, it's a sweepstakes card or an art card. You can order it. You put one of those in every single pack of 90 Bowman. Still looks pretty cool. Ed Whitson, and there's a Robin Ventura, and a Omar Vizquel, and Dave Winfield to wrap it up. Dave Winfield taking the gum hit. You can see the gum stain from the piece of gum that was in there. So, very nice pack, very nice pack. Check this out. We got a fat pack, cello pack of nine. Oh, no, it's not. They were stuck together. My bad. I thought they were stuck together, or I thought it was one cello pack of uh, 90 clear. Let's go ahead and open this 90 clear. Some people will say one of the worst sets of all time. 90 clear will always hold a dear place in my heart. There's a player of the decade, George Brett. Very nice. Some nice white border, very simple design on 90 clear. Thing that hurts 90 Fleer is that they did not get there's a Jack Morris, a Hall of Famer. Thing that hurts 90 Fleer is that they did not get uh, Frank Thomas in the set. They got uh, Larry Walker and Sammy Sosa and got those guys in there. But Frank Thomas is actually in the uh, update, 90 Fleer update set. I have a pack of 92 tops here. Do get a tops gold. In each pack, I believe. 92 tops. There's some cool pictures. These packs are such a pain to open. Here, slide those out of there. Manny Ramirez, rookie card again is the best you can get. Lots of Hall of Famers, though. Eric Plunk, I don't know what's going on with his hand. Jim Gantner. Al Newman. So we're just looking, you know, in the jam packs. It's a fun little scratch off game. We're looking for Hall of Famers, looking for your superstars when you're a kid. A lot of nostalgia goes into these packs. Bobby Bo. <clears throat> Another checklist. There's a Big Mac. Mark McGuire. Nice pack. Nice card there. Yeah. We got two checklists cards in that pack that is 91 Bowman I'm gonna save that 91 Bowman's fun here's our 
There's our 86 Donruss pack. I think that's going to be the star of the show there. And what else we got? 88 tops, 89 tops, 89 Fleer. We'll save that. Let's do this 88 tops pack. I see a cello pack or a rack pack back there too. I'm not sure what that is. Right. The gum. Who's taking the gum hit? Tony Fernandez. Great shortstop for the Blue Jays. Tony Fernandez. All right, 88 tops. Let's see. Tom Glavin's only rookie card really in here I, I can think of off the top of my head without using my cheat sheet. Lots of Hall of Fame players in here. Del Mahorik is not. Mahorkis, Mahorkix. Nelson Laureano. There's a Hall of Famer. Kirby Puckett. Kirby Puckett. We'll see these cards in uh, two years from now in 2023 tops, I guess. 35th anniversary that's something that make you feel makes me feel old Benito Santiago wasn't too bad of a player Larry Parrish Dave Bergman and there's Tony Fernandez Did I say shortstop was he a shortstop or set yeah he was a shortstop I had that all right let's do 88 Fleer we'll stick with the stick with the 88s do an 88 Fleer <clears throat> pretty cool design on these I like these I like the designs of the 88 Fleer with the red white and blue Hall of Famer Jim Rice there's a nice second year Greg Maddox Let me put him up here I like that card a lot Matt Young changing the guard in Boston Mike Greenwell Ellis Burks and Todd Benzinger Hmm. Ken Griffey. Fred Lynn. Sometimes these like to stick. They feel like they stick. All the powder in them. Jack Lazorko. I wonder if any of you remember anything at all about Jack Lazorko because I don't. I don't remember anything about Jack Lazorko. All right. Next pack, we got 1989 tops. Let's see if we can hit us a Randy Johnson rookie card or Craig Biggio. Dick Schofield, the Giants team leader card. See, they were doing team cards even back way back in 1989. So absolutely nothing going on in the 89 Tops pack. All right, so what do we got here? Let's pull out. We got I see an 89 Bowman. Let's see if we get a Griffey. What's our rack pack here? Oh, cool. 89 Donruss. 89 Donruss rack pack. So that's pretty cool. So we got some Griffey chasing to do here. 89 Fleer, 89 Bowman, 89 Donruss. Lots of packs left to open here. My goodness. We got a Flare Ultra 91, 90 Upper Deck. It's not the it's not the find the Reggie. 92 Studio, 91 Studio, 91 Leaf, 92 Leaf, 90 Score. And or 92 score, sorry. And we have 90 score. See if we get that slick Bo Jackson shoulder pads card out of there. So let's uh, let's just go with the 91 Flare Ultra. 91 Flare Ultra had not a lot going for it because they missed out on all the big rookies from 91. They were in their update set. There's just a nice Barry Bonds early and fairly early in his career. With the Pirates, Lee Smith Hall of Famer. There's a nice Ricky Henderson. You can see the backs of the 91 Flare Ultra. Very cool. I like these cards a lot. They were pretty high end when they came out. John Olerud and Dwight Smith. So let's just let's save save that one. Let's do the 92 score. Oh 
Omar Vizquel. Very nice. Potentially Hall of Famer. Chuck McElroy. Franklin Stubbs. So unfortunately that pack kind of a dud. Minus Omar Vizquel. Omar Vizquel is definitely not a dud. So no black gold leafs in these. How about a Pudge Rodriguez? That's very nice. That's early in his career. Second year of Von Rodriguez card. 92. That's cool. Keep that one out there. What we got here? Mark Lewis. Another Kirby Puckett sighting. Take that. How about another Ricky Henderson sighting? I think he just got finished dealing the base. Probably so. Probably so. Russ Swan, David Darren Fletcher, another Tony Fernandez. Seeing lots of the same <clears throat> players from this era as expected. All right. Check out 91 Leaf. Not a whole lot going on in 91 Leaf either. There's a Craig Biggio early on in his career. Just a slight bit off center, right? <laughs> so looking for Hall of Famers such as Mr. Biggio that we just saw. Another Ricky Henderson. Getting ready to steal a base. It was like a before and after picture. Bobby Witt and then a puzzle piece. Is it, was it Rod Carew? I don't remember. Harmon Killebrew. It was a twin. All right, get this stack out of the way here. 91 Studio. Let's let's rip that bad boy open. 91 Studio portrait cards. These are some of these have very funny pictures. David Segui, very unsure about what his day is going to hold. How about that? Sweet Lou Whitaker? Nice smile. Bob Welch. Greg Jeffries. Hmm, interesting. Willie McGee and Tino Martinez. So not much else going on in that pack. 92 studio. Went with color and black and white this time on the portraits. Another Kevin Moss sighting. Billy Williams, Rod Carew checklist. That's pretty cool. Inducted into the Hall of Fame in 91. Greg Gagne. Doc Gooden, Kent Herbeck, and Mariano Duncan to bookend that pack. Huh. If you're a Mariano Duncan fan, then loving that pack. How about 90 Upper Deck? Let's see if we can hit a Sosa rookie, maybe Bernie Williams. Another Tony Fernandez. Very thoughtful. Tony Phillips. Bobby Rose. Mickey Tettleton. Annie Lee. Molly Whitehurst and Joe Oliver. So that pack. Nothing going on in that pack. Let's do this 90 score. See if we can hit Frank Thomas, rookie out of here. That's the big one. The big one is the big hurt. See why you usually get a draft pick card or something like that in the middle of these cards or middle of these packs. That's where the Frank Thomas would be. And the Bo Jackson card would be there too, I believe. But we're not going to get it, but we are going to get a highlight card of uh, Nolan Ryan. It's pretty cool. I will take that. 5,000th strikeout. And that's it. All right, let's open up here some 91 Bowman. 91 Bowman. You'll recognize this design from 2021 Bowman. This was their throwback set here. Barry Larkin with the slugger, the, the bat embossed on it. Hall of Famer, very nice. So, see if we can get lucky here, find us a Chipper Jones rookie card out of here. 
Ed Sprague, Rico Bronia, and Pete and Cavilia to wrap it up. So no, we don't. All right, 89 Bowman now. Let's see if we can pull that iconic Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card out of here. Nelson Santovina. Is that Alex Trevino? Is that who that is? Yeah. That's the Stottlemyre family. Joey Meyer. Tom Herr. Another Bobby Bow. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Eric Shaw, looking interesting. Kelly Gruber and Greg Gagne again. 89 Fleer. See if we can find that Griffey. There's a Dennis Eckersley Hall of Famer, followed by another Hall of Famer, Dave Winfield. Who knows, this could be an error pack, too. Could have the Billy Ripken error card in here. Highly unlikely. Strawman, Daryl Strawberry, and Kevin Elster. So, nothing out of that pack. Let's get these over here. All right, let's do our... Rack pack here of 89 Donruss. That thing opened beautifully. All right, let's see. Are you in here, Ken Griffey Jr.? <clears throat> or Randy Johnson? Chris Sabo is in here. Nimmin, Worthington, Big Cat, not in the first third. All right, let's go to the second third of this pack, rack pack here. Kittle, Lighter, there's a nice Hall of Famer, Eddie Murray. Love me some Eddie Murray cards. Luis Medina, rated rookie, not the rated rookie that we're looking for. And last one here of this rack pack. And I am not, it could be, no. Pete Harnish. I know the Griffey is that color. So if you see that color coming up, then you know you got a shot. All right, last uh, pack here. Yeah, just making sure I didn't leave one in there before I go to this one. Last pack, 1986 Don Russ. So the big one we're looking for, there's a couple. The biggest we're looking for, Jose Canseco and Fred McGriff also has a rated rookie in here. So let's see if we can have some last pack magic here. Pull that Jose Canseco rookie card out of a pack. How about Phil Necro? Dave Rucker. Mark Salas. Goose Gossage. Andy Van Slyke, that's a cool picture of him. Don Slot, Bob Boone, running out of time here. Dwight Evans, very nice player. Steve Trout, Bill Swaggerty, and the last two, Rick Manning, and nope, there's two more actually, three more. Jose Uribe, Ron Guidry. So, nothing going on in that pack. So that will bring us to our final bit here, the jam pack, the gold jam pack. Got a Hall of Famer. These are hard to open sometimes. There we go. We have one Hall of Fame. There we go. That's a nice one. 89 Upper Deck Rookie, John Smoltz. I will take that one. And then, inside here, if I can get into it, will be a Hall of Fame autograph. I don't know if you guys saw it. I didn't see it. I saw, the, saw a little bit of the name at the top, but I saw that I could see the name, but couldn't tell who it was. So let's hear. Let's see who it is. I've got a John Smoltz Rookie. 
in our Hall of Fame autograph. That looks like Burt Blylevin. It is Burt Blylevin. It's crazy that I pulled this autograph because I actually, I actually have that card. I did not pull it from the Jam Pack box, but I actually do have that card. I'm not sure if I have that parallel. It's number to 199 or not, but hey, Burt Blylevin from, uh, is that Museum? Or Topps Tribute. It's a Topps Tribute. So that's a pretty cool looking card. So this one might be up for sale sometime since I have duplicate of that one now. But anyway, that's the Jam Pack, the old school box. Um, lots of fun, lots of nostalgia. Hall of Fame rookie, Hall of Fame auto. Uh, very cool box. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you on the next one.